अहम सर्पश्य प्रभव मत सर्प प्रवर्तते भजन्ते बुधा भाव समन्विता मच्चिता मगत प्राण बोधय परस्पर कथय मित्यम तुष्यंति च रमंति च सततुक्ता भजता प्रीतिपूर्वक ददा बुद्धिपया अप टू वर्स नंबर फाइव इन चैप्टर टेन ई थिंक आई विल टॉक अबाउट माई ग्लोरीज आई विल टॉक अबाउट द फिलोसफी again and again and again because you are so delighted to hear it since you are so happy listening to it since you want to keep hearing it again and again and again i I'll, i'll talk to you what am i going to talk to you that you are so interested in listening my glories he is not interested in listening to solving his problems He is interested in listening to the glories of the God. Most listen to solve their problems. So no, they are not interested in the glories of the God because they say, "Ah, that we know already, sir." So there is no here. He is saying it is not about the problems. In it is not the problems that you are interested in solving that you are listening to me. I am talking about my glories, and I will talk about it in detail because you are. you are so inspired to hear you are so impressed to hear and you keep wanting to listen to it again and again and again we will say nang idu kekave illa sir you will be never asked for this kind of a thing yeah, who with the same glory is going to repeat for two two chapters the same glory and every time he repeats glory itself means you never get tired of listening that's glory okay your glory if somebody keeps talking you will never get tired isn't it others glories will get tired very fast again i repeat anybody where to talk about your own glory you will never get you will never ever get tired they can praise you you will be happy they can continue to praise you will be happy and they can continue forever and you will continue to be happy forever the moment the glory of somebody else comes it starts boring it starts uninteresting so if these two chapters is very uninteresting you will understand where lies your interest in your glory or his glory yeah, that's all these are all subtler aspects if you say hey, people say that sir why uh, why is going into so much of it it's not so logical and all no sir mm-hmm. as so the previous logic was all understood very yeah. rightly isn't it even that is also not understood but here the irritation is what here how long to sit and listen to somebody else's glories it gets very it gets very uninteresting here he says i am speaking to you because i am i am i am listening to it i am speaking because 
you are listening to it again and again and again and you don't get tired of listening you don't get tired of listening how much ever you listen to my glories arjuna you don't feel sleepy at all he said therefore i am talking therefore i am talking to you what is the glory now how this entire creation is me so first he talks about the world and when he talked about the world he spoke about the inner world the subject four and five the subject and all the inner characteristics it's all all the inner characteristics that you see in the individual is is me he said that previous now he is continuing the same creation story only he is going to talk about the external and say how the external is is me all the internal characteristics that you saw is me now we are going to see the external external means the world outside all that is also that is also that is also me more the elaboration more the inspiration more he is elaborating his glories more the inspiration and the beauty of it is this it is not a devotee talking about his glories understand the difference here see we always we we always see in a devotee only talking about the the glory of the god here who's talking even in vishnu sahasra nama krishna is not talking about his glory who's talking bhishma is talking to bhishma he is teaching the pandavas about the glories where do you get to hear god talking about one's own glories that's why it is so beautiful so beautiful because he is talking about. when others talk about the glory you can always say some exaggeration is there isn't it some poetic license they will take some exa- some exaggeration is there and all that you can say when it is coming through the others but here he is talking about his own glories and when he is talking about his own glories he call it as a glory he is making a very factual statement from his angle from his angle he is saying it's not a glory these are all the fact how we see it as we see it as a glory you able to understand now he is not calling he is saying these are all the facts these are all happening inside of the individual all this is me all this is what is happening outside this is me and then he is going to elaborate it further and further and further so a, a factual statement of how he is all pervading a factual statement is a factual statement of how god is all pervading one thing is to say god is all pervading one thing is to say how butter pervades milk god pervades the world how butter pervades the milk i pervade the world he said that previously and he looked at us no reaction at all wasn't it no reaction at all because nothing is understood no no, no reaction at all because uh, but it's a wrong example sir because we are all vegans so we don't know about this butter thing and all we don't we don't know because we have all become that so what is that as butter pervades the milk i pervade everything arjuna is not reacting so what he did he took up another angle what is another angle you are seeing something no at least okay forget all pervading what are you seeing you are seeing something in you and you are seeing something outside two things you are seeing something inside of you and you are seeing something outside of you whatever you see inside of you is me and whatever you see outside of you is also me the microcosm is me the macrocosm is me so previous verses he said the microcosm is me 
which we covered. Now he is going to stop the macrocosm as the macrocosm as as me. Macrocosm as me, verse number six. Six point. Maharshaya sat. Pute Tatvaro Manapas Tata Madhava Manasa Jata Yesham Loka Hima Prajaha Maharshaya Sata Pute Tatvaro Manapas Tata Madhava Mana Sajata Yesham Loka Hima Prajaha The seven great sages, the ancient four and the Manus, with their being in me, were born of mine. From them are these creatures of the world. The seven great sages, the ancient four and the Manus, with their being in me, were born of mind. From them are these creatures of the world. Now what is he saying? Maharshaya Sapta. Seven great rishis. The rishis are called seers. The rishis are not kartas. Understand the difference. The rishis are not kartas. They were not doers. They were seers. After seeing, they do something. Then you become the doer. You are not a seer anymore. Who is a rishi? A rishi means simply one who sees. What do they see? That's the definition of the Rishi. Veda mantraha tad arthaha drishtarthaha iti Rishi. This is the derivation. Who is a Rishi? A Rishi is one who, who sees the Veda mantras along with the meaning. When the mantras is revealed, along with the mantra, what is revealed? The artha is also revealed. The meaning is also revealed. So the mantra is revealed, the artha is revealed, drishtastha. Both is revealed to them at the, at the same time. These ones are called rishis. They are called rishi. That's why they say they are not mantra karta, they are mantra drishta. Again. They are not mantra karta. They didn't sit and write. Karta means deliberately you sit and write. That is the that is the next category that is going to come. Those who sit and write. There is one category that revealed, and then there is another category that sits and writes. That also he is talking in the same verse. When we come there, we will see them. So first is Sapta Rishaya, Rishi. Who is the Rishi? Man, not Mantra Karta, Mantra Drashta. And when they see the Mantra, how do they see? They see it along with the Artha. When the Mantra is revealed, they need not go and ask somebody else for the meaning. The Mantra is revealed and when the Mantra is revealed along with it, the meaning is also revealed. One who has got the revelation of the Vedas and know their meanings. When we hear Tattva Masi, it's not a revelation. Why? Because out of that hearing, out of that hearing, nothing has happened. Out of that hearing, nothing has happened. Who is the Rishi? They will hear Tattva Masi and they also know that they are that. They are called the Rishis. That's why in our tradition, we have a special place for them. Deva, Rishi, Pitru, Manushya, Bhuta. In all other cultures, they have only four categories. 
gods everybody has gods everybody has other species everybody has ancestral worship anyway is there but the special category called rishi is so unique to vedas the special category called rishi is is so so unique to vedic vedantic culture why are they so unique that's why the brahmins even today the very few who does the daily gratitude prayers they they say their gratitude to the rishi also which is what in the which is what in the chapter 3 chapter 4 when we talk about karma yoga he says nitya karma every day you have to say your thanks to the five categories the five noble acts the five great acts of saying thank you every day to the five deva rishi pitru manushya bhuta in that rishi has a special category why they have a special category why they are in a special category every day we have to remember them and every day we have to pray you follow at least the culture tradition says at least you should remember the rishis of your gotra and pray at least do that if you don't pray to all the rishis at least remember the rishis of your gotra and you know in this culture here anybody you ask they will have a gotra and their gotra will be having a rishi name all all cross sections all sections of the society whatever be their caste whatever be their community if they go to temple they will ask what is your gotra and they will and they will not say they will not say a king's name they will not say a god's name they will not say anybody's name they will say a, a rishi's name even today we do that even today we do that and i have seen it in all people do all community people having the same thing any community go on us they will have rishi as their uh, which gotra i belong to the lineage lineage means what to which category you belong to who started which which line are you following you will say you see correct srikam ninga kuda koyil pona gotram nu kekkanga illaya something they will say theri illa na enna padra sir shiva gotram theri illa isn't it it means they have forgotten that's all ingratitude it is illa it is ingratitude to say shiva gotram why because i forgot why because uh my father didn't know my grandfather didn't know why because they all were thinkers so they didn't believe in all this they all became thinkers so they didn't believe in all these things we forgot rishis who are rishis you should not forget them why because the entire vedic scriptures the entire knowledge is given to us by them the knowledge that is making our life better how can you forget those who have given this so sapta rishis sapta rishis a, 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 a very a, a very vedic way of saying seven seven rishis and then if you see there are there is a list and don't worry about the list every tradition will have with a small change three four will be common Two, three will, two, three will change. So don't worry about the, or don't worry about the list of the seven. But there are, there are seven. Sapta Rishi. Who is the Sapta Rishi is here? The Sapta Rishi is here is Bhrugu, Vivaswam, Sudama, Angiras, Atri, Vishwamitra, Vasista. In this, four, five will be the same everywhere. atri bruh kutsa vasishta gaudam akashyapa angi rasa rishaya one group says one group says another group will have a different list another group will, but four five will be common in that what are the four five angi ras will be common vishwamitra will be will be common vasishta will be common bruh will be common doesn't matter you got anyway seven names you have to have that's all seven names collectively representing all the rishis 
all the seven names representing all the rishis please understand whenever we talk about rishis the rishi kas are also included it's not only rishi rishika is also included ravindran correct <laughs> Uh, Rishi class also included, right? don't worry. One person who has kept the name Rishi Kava, huh? that's why I like her. I like that girl also so much. So, Rishi Kava. So, so when we pray for, so when we pray, we pray for Rishi and we pray for Rishi Kava also. Praying means saying thank you. That is obviously clear. Uh, prayer means at least that much we have understood till now. Prayer means saying, saying thank you for the benefit that I have derived from you. I am saying thank you. For the benefit that I have derived from you, I am saying thank you. So this is the uh, this is the Sapta, Sapta Rishis. Purve Chatvaraha. Now we go to the next. Purve Chatvaraha. Seven means, see, wherever the number seven comes, we will say Saptarishis, we will say. Wherever Chatwaraha, the four comes, we understand it as the four Kumaras. The four Kumaras. Who are the four Kumaras? Sanaka, Sanandana, Sanatana, Sanat Kumara. These are the four, these are the four Kumaras. Then, Manavaha Tata. Manu, 14 Manus. Manus are the writers. Rishis are the seers. Manu is the writer. That's why even today we talk about Manus Smriti. And when they write, they don't write anything of their original. Whatever is in the Vedas, they make it into a code and give it to us. Because the Vedic language is so different. The Vedic language is so... It is cryptic at one level. It is so elaborative at another level. It is so poetic at one level. It is so simple and straightforward at, at another level. So, this Veda as a literature is, is a separate science by itself. It's a life. You can't do some other study and this study combined and all. It won't work. It's a separate science that has to be studied all by itself. There are people who cannot do that. So what, what happens? There is a Manu. The Manus are those who sit and who, who writes for us. What do they write? The individual dharma, the collective dharma, the social dharma, the dharma of the king, the dharma of everything, what we should do, what we shouldn't do, so that there is a discipline in life and this discipline in life brings a maturity to Vedic study. So, Chattvaraha refers to the four, the four Kumaras. And who are the four Kumaras? This is the story, creation. This is the creation story, all this. It will be very interesting. Yeah, 7, 9, lakh, when you bore it, 10, 11, lakh, it will be very interesting because in every verse, we will give one, one story. So, you so you, so you'll get to hear a lot of stories in this, in this chapter and the next chapter. So, what is that story here? Brahma created Brahma created four. And he made a mistake. Because first time he is creating. No, he didn't know how to create properly. <laughs> Since he was creating it for the first time, he didn't know how to create properly. He, he, he made a wrong create. There, there is something wrong in the create. What happened? He created four. And he went and, and he told the four, go and procreate and go and procreate and populate the world. And what is the mistake in that creation that Brahma made with the four Kumaras? 
all the four turned back and told him, we want to go back to the origin. We don't want to go out and continue into this creation and all we don't want. We want to go back into the origin. Brahma said, because that is not, that is not under my control. So go to, go to Dakshinamurthy. So what Dakshinamurthy did, even today if you go to Shiva temples, you will see Dakshinana South, South facing, South facing he is here. South facing, na? I don't know what uh, I don't know what he is facing. So he said Dakshina is south facing. So he is facing the south and sitting with the chin mudra. And all the four are sitting. And then you will see there are four, four people will be sitting at the at the feet, looking up to him. Dakshina Murti is not teaching them anything. They are also not asking any, they are also not asking any questions. He is also not teaching anything, but something transpired, some transaction happened, they went back. And then Brahma realized he made a mistake. What is the mistake? What is the mistake? You should never create with the detachment. <laughs> detachment would create pannam, this is what will happen therefore what Brahma did get them complicated what is the complication what is the complication as soon as you touch the body enter the body you should get so attached to the body and you should start saying my body there should not be a gap between the body and you. You and body should become so intertwined as uh, that two will become one. And then what happens after that? Brahma can go to sleep. We will take care of the creation after that. This is how the stories describe how creation happened. So the first two four, Chatwaraha. Chatwaraha means that four. And that four all one prayajana illa. Because they all went back, no. They all went back and uh, so and then came Manavaha Tata, Manu. Who is Manu? The progenitor. And then there are 14 Manus. Why 14 Manus? Because 14 cycles. One Yuga, other, uh, it's, a, it's a huge number and all. There is one, there is one of, of, of one Yuga, there are so many Manus will, will come. Of that 14 cycles, we are in the 8th cycle. Ashta Vimshati Tame, they say. Even today when the Brahmins do the prayer, they say Ashta Vimshati Tame. Ashta Vimshati Tame means of the 14 cycles, which cycle are we in? We are in the 8th cycle. How do we even know that we are in the 8th cycle? See, each and every cycle is so huge. And, and these fellows are saying we are in the 8th. 8th cycle and for this 8th cycle there is a Manu and his name is Swayam Bhuva Manu. His name is that Manu and we all we are all called uh, man because we come from Manu. Yeah. Manas is the root. 7 Maharshis, 4 Sanat Kumaras, 14 Manus all put together will give you 25 numbers. Hmm. If you add up all, they will give you some, they will give you some number. What is the number? 25. What is he saying? All beings of the past, present and future comes from this 25 only. And this 25 I created. Again I repeat. All the beings of the past, present and future comes from this 25 only and this 25 is and this 25 is is me. This is one way of interpretation, the devotional, the emotional approach. Another way of interpretation of the 25 is what? 
the seven rishis represent senses mind and intellect the ancient four suggest the mind intellect ego and chit the 14 manus refer to 10 pranas corresponding to the 10 organs of perception and action what are the pranas apana samana vyana udana etc all these faculties emanate from the consciousness whichever angle you come from you take the devotional angle you look at me you take the intellectual angle and you look at me it remains the it remains the same what is it all this comes out of me Fourteen manus are the physical progenitors. Rishis and the Sanat Kumaras are knowledge progenitors. Because they also because they are teaching us something. No, there are physical progenitors and then there are knowledge progenitors. And what are the knowledge progenitors? The rishis and the and the and the four. So seven plus four is of the knowledge. Fourteen is of the matter. So these fourteen is the matter part, and these eleven takes us to the consciousness part. Both combined is creation. Both combined is creation. And who are they? Out of me they come. Are you able to follow now? Out of me they come. लोके आई मैनिफेस्टेड एस दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकेम द वर्ल्ड अगेन रिपीट वॉट इज दिंग आई बिकेम दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकेम बिकेम द बिकेम द वर्ल्ड इट मीन राइट थ्रू वॉट इज इन मी world is me the microcosm is me the macrocosm is me the world is the world is me all these arise out of born of mind inga da he he brings in a he brings in a beautiful thought manasaha jataha born of mind born of mind means born of imagination born of mind means born of imagination and you can imagine so strongly that it looks real you can imagine so deep that it will become real in front of you they are all called manasaha jataha manasa putra they are called out of mind everybody came the very fact it has come out of mind means what there is no solidity to it there is no solidarity to it the way in which we see it as solid manasa jata but then because of continuous long association what has happened it has started appearing to be so so real now that it is appearing to be so real he is asking okay what all you are seeing as real is is me manasa jata that's how even the puranic story says the first thing is born of the mind manasa putra manasa putra means born out of the mind means born out of how does mind give birth through through imagination and when this imagination solidifies it appears as an object in front of you this is how manasa manasa jata therefore he says all are born out of mind so if you go back and ask who is my father's 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 first father what you should say 
what you should say imagination you should say are able to follow raj purida father 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 swas father na yaar avanga imagination na it's very clear isn't it imagination means it is very because that's what he saying manasa jata ha we are not saying that he is saying that you take the puranas and read they say they are all born out of brahma's mind from the mind he created all creation happens there is no creation at all something has happening in front and we are seeing it and we are talking so much about it which is not existing look at the difficulty of them they have to talk about something in so detail which is not existing and that which is existing they cannot talk about it at all because in no way we can understand that this is irony of human being what is irony of human being illadad pathi pesna we get very interested irukirad pathi pesna we fall off to sleep correct ah yes arul shankar gossip na nalla irukud isn't it yeah gossip means it's not there somebody is sitting and imagining something is happening and everybody is sitting and everybody is sitting and talking about it how joyful it is when the fact is told sri gand unme sonna we fall off to sleep gossip na it is very clear isn't it whatsapp la truth or forward pannu nu illa the people ask me sir you know this classes and all this should no we should go and social media and all that we should go and blast fully so that people understand i said anga gossip panna the people will come there you say the fact who's interested in saying who's interested in coming to the fact apra full blast alla panni apra survey var eduthanga evlo per vandanga naalu per vandanga this is who will come there who will go there gossip only will happen there Yeah. What's up forward now? Like gossip, da, isn't it? What's up forward now? Like gossip, da, isn't it? Untruth it is, but that untruth is so interesting. The truth is not at all interesting. Are you able to follow? Are there problems in India? That which isn't there, manasa jata ha, is so interesting to talk about. What should be dismissed in? what should be dismissed in one one sentence what all this is born of mind na all this is imaginary all this all this entire world and creation and the problems and everything should be dismissed in one sentence as imaginary but we don't do that what we will do imaginary na one day in future we will understand but today it is real no ah now that it has made real let us discuss it from different angle but what they want to say what the rishis want to say what krishna want to say let us talk about that which is there that is me i am talking about it arjuna you are the one who is so interested in listening to it i am talking to you on this but you lo per class la undu ukandirukrangle why they came i don't know arjuna why they came i don't know because the glories are not the glories are not the glories isn't inspiring the glories isn't motivating therefore what is he saying now what is he saying now let it be there are these two what are the two the 14 talks about that which is into there that which is into there for discipline isn't it that which is in there there is a discipline there is a schedule there is what to do what not to do for all that that which is there there is a code the 14 talks about that they are called the manus and then the 11 talks about what the 11 talks about the real so you can see it from that angle also but nevertheless all these creatures all these creatures of the world came from me with their being in me that bhavam is me 
the body is not me remember that mat bhavah don't mistake their bodies as me their bhavam is me bhavam means the inner core the essence the inner core the essence is me not the mat bhavam not the shariram mat bhavah all these creatures of the world are from me you understand this what will happen if you understand this all that what will happen that is verse number 7 verse number 7 padi come back etam vibhutim yogam cha mama yo vetti tat tataha so vikampe na yogena yujhyate natra samshaya ியுனியன் யூனியன் there is no doubt about it he who knows in reality the supreme manifestation and my yoga he becomes established in unshakable union there is no doubt about it brahman's manifestations expressions activities if you understand all this rightly what will happen unshakable union will happen unshakable union will 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 happen ha huh? there is a clarification i'll take it up yes i i didn't want to understand the difference between the seer and doer and my understanding was seer chose not to write and doer already sees what the seer sees and he chose to write is it how we can understand ah the difference is between the seer and the doer the seer and the doer the seer means reporting he sees and reports that is the seer doer adds his own doer adds his own masala to it so to the reporting again i repeat seer means simply says doer means doer means they read something and they give their own and they give their own meaning to it see understand doer means it comes out of a human being that comes out of human effort that mantras brahman doesn't come out of human effort are able to understand seer means that which is existing beyond human effort they see doer means a product of human effort that is why in the prasthanatraya in the literature why do we say upanishads are the highest whereas bhagavad gita and brahma sutras and all is given a lower category whereas the upanishads are given the highest category brahma sutra somebody sat and wrote bhagavad gita there is a vyasa wrote there are upanishads ீலு what does the doer do doer here means what sits and elaborates it when he elaborates it he takes into consideration an audience the right word the wrong word how to explain how not to explain all that is what doer are you able to understand the difference this is the seer and the doer 
rishis are not rishis are not kartas they are drishtas are you okay that's only that's only difference so the material for the doer is we are not talking about where the material is what the material is one is faithfully saying what he saw another is another is writing something sitting and creating something doer means creator where is the material coming from and all we are not discussing here that's not the topic here a doer means is creator drashta means the the seer don't don't confuse it this is called overthinking this is called running 10 steps forward isn't it from the seer's material the doer takes and elaborates idella overthinking where is the material coming from idella running 10 steps running 10 steps ahead of krishna come one step don't walk along come one step behind then there will be a clank you follow what i'm saying therefore this is just, this is just overthinking it's not needed if you understand all this rightly what do you understand rightly the brahman the manifestations the expressions the activities if all this is understood rightly what happens you will be established in the unshakable union union nale unshakable da isn't it ha huh? etam vibhutim etam vibhutim what is etam vibhutim this truth what is this truth the inner world of thoughts and the outer world of beings or vibhuti bhuti means bhutani vibhu means the the manifested the manifested beings the truth behind the manifested beings if you understand the word bhuti means appearance manifestation the word bhuti means manifestation appearance vibhuti means manifold manifestation vibhuti means manifold manifestation vibhuti also could be vishesha bhuti which is glorious manifestation so vibhuti can be manifold manifestation and vibhuti can be glorious manifestation and we combine both how do we combine both it's a manifold glorious manifestation that is vibhuti etam vibhutim etam vibhutim this vibhutim how do they understand it manifold glorious manifestation what do you understand when you see this glorious manifold manifestation from all this glow from all this manifold glorious manifestation what do you saw what did you see that one has become many that one is appearing as many so you should not say that one has become many abhi solo kuda it's a wrong word that one as that one appearing as as many are you okay till now the one is not seen the appearances are seen and the one is inferred the one is not seen the appearances are seen and when the appearances are seen the one is inferred example you don't see electricity when the bulb is functioning when the bulb is lighting 
you see electricity. Correct? When you see the bulb, so wherever you see anybody walking, wherever you see anybody talking, sense or nonsense doesn't matter. Clear? Wherever you see anybody walking, wherever you see anybody talking, wherever you see anybody doing anything, and wherever you see the plants growing, wherever you see the fishes swimming, and wherever you see the birds flying, what do you understand? You see thousands of bulb in the football stadium, and you understand? Thousands of bulb doesn't have thousands of electricity. Thousands of bulb is enlivened by one electricity. Etam vibhutim yogam cha. What is this vibhuti now? Beautiful this vibhuti is. Manifold, glorious manifestation. You should say it like that. Put together, how you should call vibhuti? It's manifold and glorious. It's manifold and glorious. Itam vibhutim yogam cha. All these manifestations are, are one. The one from the angle of vibhuti is many. Sorry. Apostle Tom. The I from the angle of vibhuti is manifold. The I from the angle of yoga is one. In the chapter, you will complicated, I do isn't it? That's a simple chapter. Why are you complicating? Are you able to follow? The I from the angle of vibhuti, it is many. The I from the angle of yoga, it is it is one. So many examples. Sunlight. Take the example of sunlight. The prism. Before going through prism, it is one. After going through prism, it is seven. So from one angle, it is one. From another angle, it is it is seven. So from the angle of seven, it is vibhuti. From the angle of yoga, it is it is one. So vibhuti and one are one and the same. They are not different. Before prism, after prism. The difference is before prism or after, after prism. Formula. One alone is many. Many alone is one. To put it very simply, what is he saying? One alone is many. Many alone is, is one. One water alone, all waves. One consciousness, all the three states. One consciousness as all the, all the three states. Waking dream and ifly. One electricity, thousands of bulbs. One white light coming out of the prism has seven and colors. Mama Yoni Tattvataha. Etam Vibhutim Yoga. Mama Yoni Tattvataha. Mama Yoni Tattvataha means one who knows it in essence. Tattvataha means Tattvam. Tattvam means truth. Truth means the essence. One who knows it. How he knows is Veti. Veti means two aspects to this knowing in essence. What are the two aspects to knowing in essence? Intellectually also it is understood rightly. Living and practicing this also in everyday life. This is knowing it in essence. Again, knowing it in essence means what? 
understanding it intellectually and living it on a living it every day that's what can open it every moment every thought everything you see is enesidam padati preshitam manah kena prana prathama prayati yuktah enesidam vacham vimam atandi chakshu shrotram kaudevo yunakti can open it question or which the answer is what wherever there is seeing happening wherever there is hearing happening wherever there is prana functioning wherever there is all this is functioning understand it as consciousness and what is that consciousness not some third entity what is that consciousness not some third entity you are that consciousness are you able to follow vetti studying and living vetti tattvata means studying and living studying and not giving a discourse to other studying and not uh, putting a forward whatsapp forward isn't it we, we want to share no sir this is such important knowledge this is such a meaningful knowledge this it has to be shared with people no how can you not share something meaningful it is not at all meaningful as far as you are concerned why because after sharing knowledge is forgotten the ego has strengthened after every sharing and although we don't talk about sharing just keep it keep it keep it no nobody listens little bit sir don't share no no sir but it is but abdina enna solrathu doesn't matter do i say isn't it why because you you share what you after sharing what happens knowledge is forgotten what has gotten strengthened now the ego has strengthened what is the ego what is the ego madam ha huh? what is the ego the ego of i am a teacher i am sharing i don't understand you exactly sir i follow vedanta how whatsapp forward i only do classes other thavara please forward anything else just don't forward that only yeah because in the in the quagmire of 99.9% gossips and weird things this this also will become part of part of that only why when you start sharing what goes out what goes out of you in the context of what we discussed just now when you start sharing before living and maturing if you start sharing <clears throat> what goes out of you knowledge goes out of you the purpose of knowledge is what the ego should go out of you now what is happening the knowledge is going out and the ego is getting strengthened that's why we say studying and living studying not sharing studying and living studying not sharing very good point today sir i shared with everybody clear yeah, very good point today this i shared with everybody shankar purida very good point at this point alone i i this point alone i will share i share with everybody mamayoni tattvatah if you have this as the mamayoni tattvatah if you have it as the essence the core what you will do tattvam you know it saha tattvatah means saha tattvatah saha tattvatah means you study you live you study and don't tell others to live what all you study what all you hear in the class we want others to live class konde kekaravangalale vaalamudilla class konde kekadavangalla we expect them to live how is it possible 
अथवा इट डसंट वर्क सोविकंपेन योगेन युज्यते सह अविकंपेन पडिकनो अद सोविकंपेन योगेन न वर्द वी हैव टू स्प्लिट इट एंड रीड इट बिकम्स वेरी क्लियर सह सह मींस दैट पर्सन हु स्टडीज एंड लिव्स स्टडीज नॉट नॉट शेयरिंग टू दैट पर्सन अविकंप योग अविकंप योग मींस in the union lower tremor e kedaath that firm union there is no there is no there is nothing that there is nothing that shakes it there is nothing that confuses there is nothing that doubts na atra samshaya na atra samshaya means what there is no doubt about this what the person who has understood it rightly his union will be unshakable and there is no doubt about it if the union is shaking wherever the union is shaking vijay yeah engalla and the union shake avudo what do you understand somewhere my understanding is not at right somewhere my understanding is not at right somewhere i am not somewhere i am not uh, i am not uh, i am not doing the practices that i ought to that i ought to do that is why the union is the 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 union is disturbed na atra samshaya what is so clear here knowing the glory of one and knowing that the manifestation are only appearances to such a person yoga is strong are you able to follow knowing the glory of one and also knowing that the manifestation are only appearances to such a person it is happens so well na atra samshaya krishna is saying i don't have any doubt i don't have any doubt i don't have any doubt means what it will happen he no doubt means an emphatic assertion sandehama illa pa abdinna enna artham shrikanta adha solraru ellam panna sandehama kedaadu nru sandehama illa abdinna a firm emphatic assertion na atra samshaya atra here no doubt what he becomes established in unshakable union it means he is saying what your union will be shaking at times unshakable union nale what is he saying at times your union will be will be shaking and whenever your union is shaking what do you do don't get dis- don't get disheartened don't get dissolution don't get into the depression go back and reinforce go back and reinforce go back and reinforce the indicator of the indicator of unshakable union is what there's an indicator that's why a spiritual sadhak a, a a person who is following the spiritual sadhana knows it very well and he is unshakable okay what shakes it is the mind okay what is shaking what is shaking mind the shaking clear samshayam nale ad mind ku da isn't it work out how much sir will it uh, will it work out don't take loans abdinna for constructive purposes can we take <laughs> loans sir abdinna rao 
Ravindran, statement is don't take loans. Huh? He's asking, sir, is it okay if we take loan for constructive purposes? The loan is the samshayam it is. The unshakable union isn't there. Samshayam it is. Okay, okay. For wrong purposes, we should not take. But for right purposes, we should take. Uh, I also say, doesn't matter, take now. Doesn't make any sense. Why? Because, why? Because anyway, you have decided to take now. Okay. Anyway, you have decided to take now. Doesn't matter, simply go on, go on, take. It is not shaking. This is called shaking. Bhaskar Ram Murthy is there listening. What shakes? It is the mind that it is the mind that is the mind that shakes. What is the indicator that you are doing your study, living, sadhana and all going properly? There is an indicator. Understanding that indicator, Krishna says, na atra samshaya, there is no doubt about it. He's not simply making a statement. There is a there is there is a factual event that will happen based on that. He is saying there is no samshayam. What is that event that happens that he says na atra samshaya? What is that? They start recognizing the play of divinity everywhere. Whatever happens in life, it's divine. But sir, a tragedy has come. It's divine play. Are able to follow? Everything in life will be started seeing as the play of the divine. There's a divinity that shapes our ends. This is the indicator that your spiritual sadhana is going properly. So if everything is divine, it is unshakable union. Good things, divine. So-called bad things, so-called bad things, divine. Are you okay till now? Second indicator. All are divine. There is no bad at all in anything. All are divine only. Therefore, there is no such thing called bad at all. Are you able to follow? But sir, if somebody dies, it is good for that person. That which is good, that which is good for that person, why are you? Why are you crying? You are crying because your investment is lost. So you are crying about the loss of your investment. You are not crying for that person. You are looking at your own investment loss. Yeah. Enough. We have said this any number of times. Yeah. Burning house metaphor, isn't it? Burning house, uh, burning house metaphor. Huh? Yeah. You don't remember? Okay. The house is burning. The house is burning. And the man is crying that the house is lost. Everything is lost. Everything is lost. Everything is lost. He's crying, crying, crying. The man. The neighbor comes and tells the man, why are you crying? Because I saw your son <laughs> signing the agreement yesterday for sales. Hmm? Signing the agreement to sell the house yesterday, I saw. Immediately what happened? Crying stopped. Why? Because crying stopped. Why? Because it is not his house anymore. No. The house burning is not the problem. Correct? The house burning is never a problem. What is the problem? Yeah. My house. My investments. Opposite of that is what? Yajna is happening. Agni Bhagavan is functioning. <laughs> this is Yajna that is happening. Great Homokunda is happening in front of me. Idanna Mama, I can say. Literally, you can say that, huh? Not figuratively. Literally also you'll have the strength and courage to say that. That is unshakable union. Hmm? In the metaphor story, what happens? The father is 
happy now because the sun comes and the sun is crying. Looking at the sun crying, the father said, why are you crying? That's not the agreement. What happened? Applique signature mati mati potato in the agreement. The agreement is null and void now. Again, the man started crying. Are you able to follow? Huh? This is a very famous metaphor. I keep repeating it so many times. This is called burning house metaphor. This is a shakeable union. Unshakeable union means what? Unshakeable union means what? Flood comes. Who is water god? Karuna. Varna Bhagavan wants to go by car. So he took thousands of cars in the floods. Clear. Varna Bhagavan wanted cars and he took thousands of cars. Bal Subramani. Ah, correct. Huh? But sir, if it is uh, Audi car, no, what to do? Like Maharuti car, no, it's okay. If Varna Bhagavan wants Audi car, what to do? He will take that also. Very well, follow? So, second indicator of spiritual development is what? That your study and sadhana is going properly is what? You will not see anything bad at all in life. You will not see anything that will cause pain at all in life. Why? Because it's all decided by the divine and its play of the divine. And when the divine plays, there cannot be anything wrong in it or bad in it. It's the divine play. Are you able to follow? In the divine play, there cannot be anything wrong or there cannot be anything bad in it. The wrong and bad is my mind. There cannot be anything wrong. There cannot be anything bad. There is no doubt about it. Are you able to follow now? A seeker following the sadhana properly begins to Recognize the divinity in life. This is the indication. As you further proceed, what happens? The ultimate union happens. As you proceed further, the ultimate union happens. Na atra samshaya. Avikampena yogena. Na avikampena yogena. Na avikampena yogena means un he becomes established in unshakable union. Shaking is samshayam, doubt. It is the doubt. So, in order to clear the doubt, you will look for a fact. And the fact causes, and the fact causes more doubt, isn't it? And the fact causes more doubt. Na atra samshaya. There is no doubt about it. Where there is, there is no doubt about it, here, now. There is no doubt, there is no doubt about it here. There is no doubt about it now. What? He who knows in reality the supreme manifestation and yoga becomes established in unshakable union. There is no doubt about it. It means what? He is saying that it will shake because mind still has doubts. It will shake. Wherever it is shaking, that shaking is an indicator of what? The shaking is an indicator of what? Sadhana is not happening properly. Don't blame the event. Don't blame the situation. Wherever this shaking is happening, what you should understand? Your sadhana is not, your sadhana is not being done properly. That's why you are not able to see it rightly. Why? Because na atra samshaya. What, whatever happens here is a play of the divine and there is nothing called negative at all. There is no event called negative. 
sir the environment and new new words and all they come up with sir sir the environment that i am in is so toxic sir what do i do krishna says which environment are you talking about na atra samshaya which environment are you calling it as toxic which environment are you calling it as that that there that negative energy is so much no sir toxic environment negative energy now the toxic environment which should be, be should be become non toxic negative energy should be turned into positive energy how spiritual sadhana and spiritual sadhana means self correction in one word what is spiritual sadhana not dual correction in new mathira angli mathira sir not dual correction srikant spiritual sadhana and self correction not it's over that's all it is because once you correct you see you start seeing things very differently unshakable union there is no doubt about it unshakable union there is there is no doubt about it what is no doubt he is promising the ultimate union what is no doubt the ultimate union will happen therefore etam vibhutim yogam cha mama yo veti tatvatah so vikampena yogena yujyate natra samshayah he who knows in reality the supreme manifestation and my yoga yoga is also him only because everything is divine means even the yoga is him and my yoga he is not saying your yoga because he is saying he is not saying you are uniting with me he is saying my yoga meaning according to him separation has never happened yeah, according to him there is no separation that has ever happened therefore it is my yoga he becomes established in what in unshakable union na atra samshayah na atra samshayah na atra samshayah means there is no doubt about it with this we conclude verse number 7 we will continue with verse number 8 and doubts in a few time there are clarifications okay ram subramanian why is sacred ash trinir called vibhuti is it connected in any way to manifold glorious manifestation ram subramanian the word tamil la kuda beautiful word the thirundra word if you add its glory yeah that's why they, they they always add the word thiru thirun the word portal it is so meaning it's so divine it is it is so wonderful it is isn't it vibhuti vibhuti means the ash that he is referring to yes it has a connection what is the connection a symbolic representation what is a symbolic representation if you remember in some other class we spoke about it about the fire burning everything and when the fire burns everything it doesn't burn everything it burns itself also away fire fire burns everything <coughs> and it burns itself up so the fuel is burnt the fire is the fuel is extinguished the object is burnt what remains the ash hmm? all that gets into fire will come to the same color only at the end anything that anything that comes in contact with the fire you know that all that comes in contact with the fire will come up to this end only so what is the final destination is symbolic it's the final thing so it is the symbolic of correct vibhuti serundi and the word thiru clear is beautiful clear mm. thirun potale holiness nu vandrathu english la hh hn podrom illaya 
ஹிஸ் ஹோலினஸ் ஆர் ஹர் ஹோலினஸ் ஹிஸ் ஹைனஸ் ஆர் ஹர் ஹைனஸ்ன்ற மாதிரி தமிழ்ல தீரும் ஓகே ராம் சுப்பிரமணி அப்புறம் ஆ மாலா சார் ஐ அக்ரி தட் ஷி இஸ் அக்ரீட் நவ் மாலா தேங்க்யூ ஒத்துண்டு நீங்க ஷி இஸ் அக்ரீட் ஐ அக்ரி the knowledge is meant for us to transform ourselves why and how does sharing of knowledge with others <coughs> makes our knowledge go away and ego enter very good question how does it happen it happens like this as it is knowledge is volatile volatile means gautam buddha says what is knowledge shastric knowledge he he talks about the shastric knowledge beautiful example he gives he says it is like water on a hot iron plate there is a hot iron plate ad mele thanni telse enna avum if you sprinkle water on a hot iron plate what happens even before it touches the surface it it evaporates this is the shastric knowledge now what happens when i start sharing that's why we say don't take notes don't share just keep hearing 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 because when you write notes it goes on to the shelf isn't it one of the persons in the retreat he was he was telling me wife said now that you are away for 8 weeks can i clean the cupboards hmm? can i clean the cupboards okay clean and open the cupboard full of notes not visited at all class notes isn't it full of 25 years of class notes not visited at all he is she is asking what do i what do i do with that now that person came and asked me what do i do sir i said kadaila potrum go i said why the moment it goes out my retention capacity is very less i don't retain anything at all when i don't retain there are various ways in which knowledge goes out of us by talking by writing sharing therefore what is the methodology of studying here keep listening keep listening but nariya marandu petrude doesn't matter because it will be repeated it will be repeated again and again and again are you able to follow when you start talking when you start sharing as it is it's volatile as it is it's volatile what happens it it goes out of you are you okay till now when you start sharing you will face at the biggest dilemma of your life when you start sharing the other person will ask what how much are you practicing and what is your answer illa illa adu thani idu thani other fellow says it becomes a joke you are sharing makes the knowledge a joke are you following when you start sharing the others will say what as it is they will tell you what class ku poi poi enna prayojanam nothing is happening isn't it as it is they will say going and sitting and listening in the class nothing is happening as it is it is the process and now this also happens what, what is the, you follow what i am saying you are in a you are getting yourself into a dilemma what is the dilemma your lifestyle is different and what you are sharing is is different what is the ideal way to share study and understand the knowledge and change your lifestyle are you able to follow study and understand and live this knowledge as a result of studying understanding doing your spiritual sadhanas and all that you will start living this knowledge you will have a different lifestyle and that lifestyle communicates itself there is it has to be shared the knowledge should not be shared you live a particular lifestyle and the lifestyle will communicate the knowledge 
that is why we say your focus should be on living that lifestyle hmm? when sharing subconsciously you elevate yourself to the level of the guru and rishi yeah subconsciously it's happening the ego play it is upanishad says greater than the blinding darkness upanishad says this is greater than the blinding darkness therefore wherever we get a chance we keep reinforcing that what is that what is it that we reinforce do spiritual sadhana by doing spiritual sadhana there is a lifestyle change in you and that lifestyle change will speak for itself that is a proper way of sharing what is the right way of sharing what is the proper way of sharing this is the ideal proper way of sharing is it okay malla did i help you yeah with this it's over no? with this we conclude for today and we continue with verse number 8 onwards in the next one thanks